Hi and welcome to Wigan RC. Uh, today we're going to be doing a custom spool. So that basically is getting rid of the center differential and making a custom spool. So basically what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some diff cups you can buy diff cups from eBay or your local hobby store the part number is AR310432 and that's for the diff cups so you'll need two of those you'll need some shims now we're going to do a five millimeter um, shaft so we're, we've got five times nine times 0.5 shims so all together we've got one two three four five shims um, you best to get one extra just in case and I've got hold of a drill shaft now this drill shaft is basically a high-speed drill and what I've done is I've cut it down to 48 millimeters in length and that's basically the ideal length what you're going to need to um, get the, the correct distance for the drive cups which are there right so on top of that now what I've done is instead of being having to use heaps of shims I've also got some spare bearings um, that were probably a pack of 10 for about five or six dollars from eBay and then used my Dremel tool with some safety glasses I've cut the top of the bearing and then just got my pliers and taken out um, that center piece so if you can see there that's where I've cut the top of the bearing and then taken out the center little race of the bearing so that's the center race of the bearing so that's there and then we're putting on a 34 tooth pinion Traxxas Mod 1 and we're going to basically put that in now I will um, also get a steel engine mount motor mount but for the purposes of this I'm going to use the stock plastic one and see how we go so I'll just do a little time lapse and get this all put together so you can see what it looks like before I do that let me just show you what we've done here with the shaft is we've flattened off the ends so that the grub screw can be tightened down on the shaft and of course in the center we've um, flattened off so that the pinion can be tightened down and then we'll thread lock all of that so pretty straightforward um, again just make sure that you um, m measure um, listen um, you could go a lot slightly longer but I think a perfect length is 48 millimeters for the shaft and then um, I don't think you'll have much problems so that's the project for this evening and Hold on tight, meanwhile we put all of this together.
Okay, so we've finished putting together the spool, and there it is. So, close up you can see basically, I'll take this off, we've put the spacers and the shims in, so it's the correct distance, and that should fit perfectly in the Creighton, I mean sorry, in the Typhon. So what we'll do now is quickly install it in the car, make sure that the mesh is together well, there's a little bit of play and should should work fine. Okay, let's put it together. Okay, so now we've got everything back in the car. It's just the top plate to go in after, but just thought I'd show you what it looks like. So uh, we've got a one-on-one -on -one ratio, seems to be running quite smoothly. I did put ceramic bearings in, in the motor mounts, so it should run quite smoothly. There's a little bit of play in between the, the pinions, so that should work out pretty well. And obviously, just to make sure We'll turn it on. And it seems to be seems to be ready to rumble. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. Um, how to make a spool. Um, comment, share, and if you need if you need any help with um, putting everything together, um, send me a message. Okay, Wigan RC signing off, and I'll be looking forward to doing some speed runs with this new setup. Okay, thanks guys.